Well, hello there. I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter, and today I'm going to make an interactive Pop Tart toaster card with a little scene. Lawn Fawn's little stamp set with toasters and toaster pastries, Pop Tarts, all kinds of yummies for breakfast made me happy so I decided I was gonna make a little kitchen scene with it and make my little pop tart actually pop a little bit and I'm starting by drawing some lines and if you've taken my drawing class that has a lot about perspective in it you'll understand a little bit more about the lines on the ground here but I decided to make a kind of a wall behind it of a certain type of tile. Now you can do all kinds of fancy tile, whatever sort of thing you want. I'm gonna do one that's gonna be really simple and I'll explain why as I get there. But first I'm gonna color my Pop-Tart and my toaster. And I decided I was gonna make this a love card since it's a Valentine's stamp set, but you could use it year round. And I added a little bit of red to my toaster itself because I have a really boring toaster. But I always thought it would be nice to have a toaster with kind of some coordinating colors with the kitchen. But my kitchen is not even coordinated in color. I'm, I'm really due for some painting in the house. And I think I'm going to do some fun colors in my house in the next iteration of painting whenever I get to that because I thought it would be really fun to make this look like the kitchen was one of those really super coordinated ones. So the toaster itself is going to be silver and I'll use some dark grays first and then start pulling out some areas of shadows. It's hard to explain how to make things metal. I'm actually doing this not from a photo. I'm just kind of trying to make some shapes in it that will go from dark to light and and have some differentiation to them, some, some definition that will make it feel like it's metal. And I do have a, a whole class on coloring uh, glass, which will kind of inform you on metal a little bit as well. I don't actually talk about coloring anything metal, but the same kind of principles work. A lot of the stuff that I do when I'm coloring glass, I'm just, I'm making it up. I'm just kind of looking for places to blend colors from one to another and leave some white highlights in areas that make it look like there might be some sunlight reflecting off of something and that sort of stuff. So sorry about lack of explanation because I don't really know what else to say. The uh, background here I'm making almost a, a baseboard at the on the counter itself with a couple different reds in it. So darker reds at the bottom, lighter reds at the top. And R89 is like my, my world's favorite dark red, and then R37 blends into it nicely, and then whatever light reds you've got work really well with those. Now the background is gonna probably drive some of the OCD crafters out there crazy. I've sketched in, as you can see at the beginning, with a ruler to try to make these grids a little bit even so I can kind of follow them. And you might be hearing my cat in the background. He's really bugging me but he's just meowing for attention right now. <laughs> so I made just a whole pattern of tiles in the background here, and I made it with a dark reddish color. I could have colored the whole thing first with the red and then added the pattern, but guess what? I wouldn't have been able to see those lines anymore. So I was able to dry the, draw them with my light marker and then go over them with, with the pattern and then just kind of almost erase and soften the pattern by going over it with dark colors. So you can you know, create any kind of pattern you want and then soften the whole thing. The reason for making it a dark color instead of white tiles, which is what most people have in their kitchen, I think, or you know, some sort of brown or natural tiles, is that I wanted that Pop-Tart and toaster to pop forward. I wanted them to look really strong in the picture. And if they were against something that's the same color as the toaster, you're not gonna see it very much. So that's my reason for trying to create that contrast, that visual dark versus light. So now I've got some shadows coming out from my toaster with my light off toward that right hand side. And now for the tiles on the counter itself. Following along the lines that I drew with my really light marker, and I'm using my C3 to create kind of the 
the left side and the back side of each one of my my big tiles so these are larger tiles on the counter itself and you can of course do these in all different kinds of colors that you want to as well it doesn't have to be white but again that white adds a contrast to the wall in the background and I'm softening each one of these now with a little lighter of the grays so it starts making them look almost dimensional the corners of each one of those little tiles is a little bit rounded and then just add a few details now that little cord uh, and the plug I added myself I just kind of sketched it in not really hard to, to make a little rectangle up there for the plug and then whatever kind of line you want I've taken a white pen and I've added a little to my toast or my, my toast my frosting on my pop tarts and I put an action wobble on the back of the extra little uh, pop tart and then put with all my tart on the inside popping up to say happy heart day with all my tart I mean that's just really hilarious I love Lawn Fawn's sense of humor in the sentiments that they put in their sets and that's gonna be a sweet little Valentine to send out I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please click that like button share it with your friends make sure you're subscribed and you can go over to the blog to see more I will talk to you guys later have a wonderful wonderful day